I don't think there was a person alive who recognized that more than Jesus himself. And in fact, I believe it is that understanding as to how Jesus was able to respond to the apostles when they, when they rebuked the people from bringing children to him. He said, let the little children come to me for, and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. Jesus recognized this because Jesus knew his mission. He knew, in fact, everyone was here, and he understood here. And he helps us understand it. In fact, I'd like for us to look at Matthew 26 and verse 47. I mentioned during the sermon that we would, we would look at a, 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 the greater context of what Jesus was doing in the temple when he was 12. But fast forward 21 years, and he refers to being in the temple, temple again. Verse 47 of Matthew 26, it says, While he was still speaking, Judas came, one of the twelve, and with him a great crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests and the elders of the people. See, Jesus was in Gethsemane. He was praying three times to let this cup pass from him. Nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. Jesus knew his mission, and yet we understand the, the frailty and the challenges uh, that he was facing, based on what he said, we don't understand it in uh, in, in a in, in an, a comprehensive way, but we understand that he was facing it. But in verse fifty five, it says, "At that hour, Jesus said to the crowds, Have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to capture me?' He said, "Day after day, I sat in the temple teaching, and you did not seize me." But all this has taken place, the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples left him and fled. So Jesus understood that his hour had come. The hour that he was prepared for from his youth. You see, you notice he says, day after day I sat in the temple teaching. Do you remember 21 years prior he was sitting in the same temple, but he was asking questions. From the teachers. Let's go to this first time where Jesus was in that temple. In Luke 2, in verse 41, it says, Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to the custom. This was Jesus in preparation for the following year, him becoming a man. Verse 43, And when the feast was, was ended, as they were returning, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem. His parents did not know it, but supposing him to be in the group, they went a day's journey. But when they began to search for him among their relatives and acquaintances, and when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem searching for him. After three days, they found him in the temple. So we know it was already a day's journey by the time they figured out. They come back another day's journey, and it took them a whole day while they're there. Knowing that Jesus is somewhere. Can you imagine? And they... Should have gone to the temple first, because Jesus hadn't left it. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers. He was listening to them and asking them questions. It started with questions that helped our Savior learn his mission. He was willing to ask those questions that helped him understand what God had in store for him. He was listening to his Father. And that's why he said, nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. If you recall, it was after the third time he prayed that he heard the sound of that crowd, that that group of robbers coming in with swords and clubs to take Jesus. That was the answer to the prayer that he was looking for. See, Jesus was willing to ask questions, and he received answers from his Father. I think it's fitting for us to... To see tonight or this afternoon for our our night's lesson, we're going to be focusing on our Q and A, our question and answer, and it's important for us to be willing to ask questions. Jesus, in his childlike way, was willing to ask questions in the same way children ask questions. May we never get to a point where we are not willing to investigate. In John three and verse thirty one, if you'll turn there with me. See, Jesus knew his mission because he knew where he came from and where he was going. And I believe through asking questions and finding answers according to the Word of God, we are more convinced of where we came from 
and where we are going. In verse 31 of John 3, it says, He who comes from above is above all. He who is of the earth belongs to the earth and speaks in an earthly way. He who comes from heaven is above all. He bears witness to what he has seen and heard. Yet no one received his testimony. Whoever receives his testimony sets his seal to this, that God is true. For he whom God has sent utters the words of God, for he gives the Spirit without measure. The Father loves the Son and has given all things into his hand. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God remains on him. What we find in Jesus is a resounding yes that God is true. And through Jesus, he has given us his spirit without measure, through our obedience to his word. So this afternoon, are you asking questions? Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? And have you obeyed the Son of God? We can believe it, but notice what is said in verse 36. If we do not obey it, then the belief is simply this this ethereal idea that He existed. This is the idea of a belief that leads to a response. A belief that leads to obedience. Have you obeyed the gospel message this afternoon? We have another invitation that we're offering to make sure that your life is right with God, that you have confessed that Jesus is Lord, that you have been baptized in His name, having repented of your sins, and you rise to walk in a brand new life. We understand that that is only through obedience to Christ. Have you done that this afternoon? There is nothing stopping you. If you have a need, please respond now while together we stand and as we sing. There's a soul, what will you think, wandering from? 